Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. And the last tip that we did on soft bodies made me think of something that I wanted to show Richard. I showed it to him briefly once before, but it's when you have a, a force acting on your soft bodies, and in this case, wind. So I'm going to set the scene up just like we did in the last one. Shift A, create a plane, S to scale, 10, make it 10 times bigger. Zero on the keypad to look through the camera. I'm going to drag this cube up. That's not the cube. I'm going to right click on the cube, drag the cube up. I'm going to hold the control key just to snap it to the, to the grid. I'm going to rotate a little bit to make it a more interesting bounce. Then I'm going to go into the object button, click on our physics, collision, soft body, turn off use goal, and turn on stiff quads. I'll select the plane, make sure it can recognize collisions. Do Alt A to play it. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Now I'm going to do Shift A to add an empty. I'll go ahead and drag this empty up. I'll drag it down here. I'll hit R to rotate it. Y along the Y axis. Hold the Control key. I'm going to snap it to a negative 90 degrees. And that way, we're going to see the z-axis is pointing right at our cube. Down here, under fields, we're going to create wind. Now, I could just turn the strength up and show you it and see how it blows. You could do that if you're working along trying it. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to split the window, open up an IPO curve window, and I'm going to animate the... Uh, the strength of the wind coming on. So I'll click on strength, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to control click in this window, and then uh, I'll click again over here. I'm going to set the curve type. Well, you know what? I'm going to tab into that. And you can see that by default, if I right click on these, we have a nice Bezier curve. But really, I'm going to keep it simple change our interpolation mode to constant so then it'll instantly change mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is let me zoom in a little bit here so we're like at around frame 50 on this one this frame 60 I'm going to say about negative 0.1 and then I'll uh, control left click again Oops. A to deselect, right click on that, and I'll drag that up. So, uh, I don't really need that point, so I'm going to right click, X, delete it. I really did need it, so I'm going <laughs> to control click, uh, bring that back. So now what we're going to have is around frame 60-ish, we're going to have some negative force pull, pulling the, the cube. And then we're going to, oh, around frame 80, we're going to push. Let's zoom in a little bit with the mouse wheel. And then I'm going to do something different. Instead of just Alt-A to affect the current window that my mouse is over, I'm going to do Alt-Shift-A so we can watch both, so we can see this timeline moving and what's happening over here. So my shift A is not not showing this. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> it's getting blown away. So it's getting blown away. I want it to pull it a little bit more, so I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. Now let's do Alt Shift A again. Pulls it. And then it pushes it away. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's that's fun. You could do that with forces. Uh, the wind here, this force field, you could see at this point, you could see how it shows that it's a little bit stronger. If I had, uh, you know, dragged it way out, oops, let's do it through here since we're using the animation curve. You could see it 
it gives you some visual feedback how strong that that's going to be. In this case, it's like explosive strength. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun stuff. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.